Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll go over the basic steps to creating and rendering an animation in Blender 2.82, although most of these steps apply for much older versions of Blender and are likely to apply for future versions too. The first step is to open up a new scene in Blender. I'm going to show you how to do this without any other settings getting in the way, so go to File, Defaults and then Load Factory Settings. Now we need to create something to actually render, so we need something to change. The way to make things change over time in Blender is to use keyframes. It's possible to keyframe almost any parameter in Blender, from the location of an object to the colour of material. For our basic animation, we're just going to animate the movement of the default cube, so make sure you're on frame 1 on the timeline, select the cube with left mouse click, and then press I on your keyboard and go to location. You'll see that the location parameters on the right have turned yellow, which is Blender's way of indicating that they've been keyframed. You can also see the keyframe appear on the timeline. Now move the timeline to frame 100, move the cube to its new location, and then press I in location again. If we go to frame 1, which we can do with shift and then left arrow, or by just pressing the button above the timeline, and then press play, we can see our animation play back. Now we need to change where the end of our animation is, which we can do over here by setting it to frame 100. Now we've got to set up our camera. To go to camera view, press 0 on your numpad, and then to position it, press N to bring up the sidebar, go to view, and then lock camera to view, and then just use your normal controls to move the camera around. Uncheck lock camera to view, and then press N to close the sidebar again. Now we're ready to render, so go to the output tab on the right, and choose your resolution and frame rate. Under the output heading, choose your format. By default, it's set to PNG, which means it will render individual images for each frame, which you'll have to stitch together manually afterwards. If you'd like to output a video file instead, change this to your preferred format. For me, that's MP4, so I'll select FFmpeg video, and then under encoding, change the container to MPEG4. Finally, set your output location. By default, it sets the Blender temporary file, which is difficult to access, so change it to somewhere more intuitive like your desktop. Now when you go to render and click render animation, your animation will render frame by frame and the video will be created in your chosen location. This example was very simple and only moved a cube, but the limits of what you can animate in Blender is up to how complex you want to make it. Some people have even made feature length films in Blender. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please consider sharing with anyone else you think would find it useful. Feel free to comment if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see, or any thoughts on this one. Thanks for watching.